Hey everyone, just wanted to highlight a team that we've been seeing in war a bit more often than uh, before. Uh, I've seen several alliances implemented this uh, defense of mixing Coulson and Fury with Inhumans, particularly Black Bolt, Yo-Yo, and Crystal. I uh, haven't really seen any other variations of it so far, but it's a tough defense if you don't know what you're doing. And so we've We've fought this several times, and so we have a pretty good idea of how to fight it now. Uh, I just want to give you an idea of what I do to fight it. And there's really a couple different ways, but I think the best matchup for it is using Brotherhood 2. So that may not seem like the best idea because, you know, that's a gigantic black bolt <laughs> and the yo-yo with the offense down is going to be a problem. But it does tend to work pretty well here. And I want to walk you through how I do this fight and show you here uh, how it's done. So on this one, I have a 418 Brotherhood 2.0 with uh, Juggernaut Blob at the corners here and then trying to keep Pyro and Toad alive on the other side and uh, pretty big Magneto. He's a five red star. I think most people have Magneto at five red star. Um, Toad is at six red stars and the other three are at four. So nothing insane. I don't have like a seven red star or something that's just gonna make this team, you know, really powerful. It's it's a average team, I would imagine, for people that have, you know, 400K plus uh, attack teams. So the idea here is understanding the turn order and i think where people get tripped up on this is that they don't treat it like a normal shield team so remember when you fight brotherhood going into a shield colson team uh, the first move that you want to make is first off select the corner with toad make sure he tries to strip as many buffs as possible and then look and see what actually gets stripped so in this case i did not remove the immunity from uh, Coulson. I did get it off of uh, Nick Fury, which is good, but not a big deal because uh, he's just going to summon his first turn anyway. So here's the deal. This is how we always fight Coulson. Always, always, always disrupt and slow him on spawn. Uh, do not try to blind him. Uh, he's just, he's fast and everything. You need to slow him and prevent him from getting buffs and then we can focus him down remember there's no medic to revive him here because this team is going for straight damage so for me i like to get rid of colson first and you can see here i'm setting up my defenses i'm going to strip those buffs off of fury so he doesn't get to share them and uh, then we're going to extend those debuffs here because that's all we can extend at the moment <laughs> and there's the uh, colson attack finally so you can see how long into the fight that took for colson to go because I slowed him right off the bat. Everybody else on these teams is actually fairly fast, so they all get their turns before he gets to go. And I think that really helps. I would not recommend blinding right off the bat. It just kind of depends on the situation, but for the most part, I don't think you need to blind there. Now, the other thing that's important is that when you do blind in humans, particularly like Yo-Yo, uh, she misses all of her attacks. She also does not apply offense down while blind. Uh, you can see there she took a turn immediately after Magneto, so she lost the blind, unfortunately. Now, the great thing is, is since she did her ult, she gave energy to Black Bolt, who I am targeting now and trying to get down because if I can kill him, I win, basically, right? But if he's blind, he actually misses his ult. He will not miss with his special, but he does miss with his ult. So I think the turn order works out really well in uh, Brotherhood's favor with this fight because all you gotta do is just special the Coulson right off the bat and then save the second turn uh, to use the blind and then that works out really well because Yo-Yo uh, feeds Black Bolt and Black Bolt will use his ult while he's blind. Assuming it sticks. Now remember, this is only 125k Black Bolt. I've seen them as high as 145, 150k in war. Uh, so it's possible that if you know he had a little bit more buffs, if he had barracks, uh, it could be a bit more troublesome because he'll have you know 20% more resistance, <laughs> and you may not land the blind. So it just kind of depends, and you may need to figure that out for yourself if you actually need to maybe tier four uh, Toad's passive to get extra focus. Uh, if you haven't already done Magneto's passive, it is absolutely essential for Brotherhood. And then uh, as far as tier fours go, the only other ones I have is the special on Magneto, which I also think is essential just because it guarantees removal of all buffs. It applies the disrupt and slope more uh, effectively that way because you're generally going to strip any defense up, which helps with resistance. And so that's an important one. Um, 
And then the other one that I have is I have the basic on Juggernaut from a very long time ago when Brotherhood was used a lot. And the idea was to get him his ult sooner on longer fights, especially against Fury. Uh, that's not really the case anymore. It's not really needed. Um, but that's the only tool, uh, tool, uh, tier 4 that I have besides uh, the ones on Magneto. So just full disclosure there. I never tier 4 to anything on Pyro. Um, for the longest time, I had really bad red stars on him, so it wasn't really priority for me. Uh, but you can see here, they're just trying to kill this yo-yo now, and this is exactly why I don't focus yo-yo. Some people will say to focus yo-yo first, but I think that's a bad idea because she just dodges and uh, avoids damage so much, and she gets those evades, and uh, it just takes forever to get her down. And, and if I was having to, you know, take hits from a Black Bolt right now <laughs> and a Crystal, uh, I don't think it would go very well. So for me, the kill priority is the fury uh, Colson combo, followed by uh, the Black Bolt Crystal combo. It just kind of depends on their health and how easy they are to take down. Um, you know, that's one of those things in war, whenever you're attacking, you always have to get a feel for the fight. You have to get an idea, you know? Sometimes uh, characters are more squishy than they appear, uh, depending on the power numbers and what they actually have upgraded. You never know. Uh, sometimes you just gotta get in there and see like, oh, this guy's taking a lot more damage than that one. So I might as well just finish him off before, you know, moving on to the next character to kill. Just kind of depends, but you can see my power here. Uh, Magneto is the largest at 97k. Um, Toad and Blob are at 82k each, and then 78k for Pyro and 77k for uh, Juggernaut. So, fairly, fairly well distributed power uh, among that team. Uh, fairly even and uh, nothing insane. So, just want to highlight this team and show how to beat it. Uh, you could also do it with some other teams that are a bit overpowered. Um, stuff like Black Order, of course, would take it out very easily. Um, I think uh, X Force would also kill it, most likely. It just would be a different uh, turn order, most likely. But I think it would work. I, th I think you would still you still kill Colson Fury in that case early, and then focus down Black Bolt Crystal. But um, but it would just be a different method because it's you know the turn orders are all different and everything. Uh, and then I would also kind of wonder if maybe just Bull and Humans would be able to beat it. I haven't tried that one, but I would speculate that 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 team would likely match up really well with this one. It would just be a matter of controlling that Colson and uh, Fury early. But since you know Black Bolt's gonna be the highest damage guy on the team, he'll absorb most of that Colson ult right off the bat and the taunt, and uh, he should be able to withstand it, you know, if he's, you know, a really big character, so. Anyway, that's everything I got to say about this fight. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask in the comments. And uh, feel free to share it with any of your friends that are interested in fighting this team or having trouble with it. Because I think I think Brotherhood's the same same solution as you would have even if Colson Fury were on the shield team. So I think it works out pretty well. Uh, they're ditching an Inhumans team in order to give you uh, two teams to kill in shield and Inhumans. It's just a matter of do they know how to do it? And a lot of people don't because this isn't a meta team. So it is kind of a crafty uh, defense to throw in there. You might catch some people who think they can, you know, supernatural it or something, <laughs> and then they fail. You never know. So it's always good to be creative, though. Try different things and keep the enemy on his toes, and uh, hopefully you get a couple of wins out of it. Or you just knock it out and keep on rolling if you're on offense. <laughs> All right. Take care, guys. I'll see you later.